Oh goodness. Bradley and Wi-Fi, Rebs and Darth Plagueis the Wise. Beat and a Lolly. Oh, Lolly's a top 16 seed. So it's Wi-Fi, Iceman. Yeah, adds up. <sighs> I think Pat has seeded it. So that the first seed... Because he was uh, saying that he finds it weird that first seed doesn't fight eight seed in bracket in round robin because it's first seed fights eight seed in pools. Okay. So I think he seeded it so that it is the first seed and the eighth seed fighting each other in bracket. So it's a bit it's a bit weirder in round robin. But I'm not too sure because it looks a bit odd the way it's set up. Like Jono is the second seed and Scobo's first. Okay, that makes sense, I guess. In a way. Yeah, so Jono is first fighting Wootkins. Zach is second, Didi's third, Pat's fourth. This makes sense. And yeah, Scobo fifth. Yeah, so he's done it so that it's all a bit weird. Oh. And Yobby, the Yobbers has done a zero to death. Wow. Uh, you know, it kind of happens if you just get hit by yeah. uh, Yoshi Ford off stage. Tonka Donka is, not, is, is a bit of new blood. Not not awful, man. Like, uh, contending for, for trying to get a 40 spot. Okay, that's not bad. You know what I mean? Like, uh, especially in the climate today, definitely could, you know, a few change-ups, a few executional, you know, whatever is missing. But once he hits a few things, he's uh, he's right there in the pack, I think. Yeah, I definitely just saw him, like, rack up a lot of damage just from that one uh, advantage state, actually. But these uh, jump back airs are definitely going to warm out. Oh, oh my god, again, holy fuck. Yeah. Okay. Down there, up there, pretty bread and butter. Down tilt. Yeah. Can Tonk take the slip? Yeah, yeah, he can. See, like, you know, that's the correct decision. Every Palutena in the world would make that decision. So he's got he's got a bit of it factor to him. He's, hmm. He knows what's going on. Just a bit of grinding. Yeah, yeah. Up there. Okay. The thirty. Just need a couple more of those. Back here. Oh. Down tilt. Oh. Snap back. What about that one? So Jamie's trolled a bit, trying to go for like some fancy heal confirm, and he's taking seventy-seven percent. Look, this. He's, yeah, he's he, almost dead. He's fucking dead, man. Oh! What's he doing? Oh! Dash attack? Look at the nooch! Letting Tonk warm up at least. The for, for game mate. two. These up smashes, they're just getting shielded at the moment. Yeah. Oh! Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Out. yeah. Mm -hmm. Bit of a freak out. All good. <sighs> oh, fuck. I feel like um, with Palutena, uh, at least a lot of the times when you want to do her combos, you want to kind of set up your next, uh, like, combo, basically. Like, you do one, and then you do a complete another in a sequence. But like you do it in like a way to uh, somehow with punish, you know. So like um, I find pa, I have no idea what you're talking well, about. Because you, you, you with punish like there. You, like, you want to do a combo then another combo. Well, okay. So you want to do like nair nair up there, right? Yeah. And then you watch them do their option, which is like falling nair or like you know back air whatever Yoshi does. Yeah. And uh, then you want to like try and. Hit in him the again. range where you can like, well no, like go for a grab like back here or something like that. You know? All right, that's Smash Brothers. You just explained Smash Brothers. Yeah. All right, nice. <laughs> um, more even game. Okay, the juggles, the double egg. Oh my fucking shit! He's just do a egg dip. I didn't know they could double egg. I mean that's because. Palo's got all the all the resources are gone. So I mean you will die to an egg, especially if you die poorly. That 
you know, that high up in the ceiling. Oh. Side B? Unpunishable. All good. Yeah, nah. Yeah, nice. Catching a lot of these double jumps out of, uh, you know, hit stun. Okay. Up there, nice. Yeah, nice. broken move. Option coverage. The thing about, I mean, I know Jamie's probably like taking it easy, like chilling, like he's like, yeah, just clean this game up. But the thing about a character like Palu is that, like, you're really. In situations like raw nooch situations, you're only dying for like two moves, right? It's like back air and up air. Yeah. So you just want to put yourself in a situation where you don't get hit by either of these moves. And so obviously double jumping above there is like a bit of a disrespect. Like I don't like if he did that option versus uh, someone like Nerfna or yeah, Anthony, no. I would feel like you don't really get what's going on. Nerfna's a lot quicker when it comes to like uh, you know just short hopping in front of you and just being like, oh, I'm scary kind of thing, you know. But, uh, Tunk's like, ah, oh, I don't have to, like, short hop every five seconds. <laughs> cool. Yeah, see, same option, but, like, you knew, the only thing you could die to there is, like, an up air. So you, like, fast forward the edge. It's, like, pretty simple stuff that you don't, like, Newer players don't think about, but like, if, like, let's say, the easiest example is Fox, right? Let's say, for example, oh, nice. Let's say, for example, the only way for you to die to Fox and stray neutral is to get hit by back air. It's like, well, you kind of, oh, nice. Yeah. But you kind of just play around back air, right? Right. So obviously, it's hard because Fox is really fast and back is really broken move. But like, there are other scenarios where it's like, Sometimes there's really only one way to die, and for some reason people are gravitated towards trying to win neutral in that way. Yeah, okay. So, like, if Cloud has limit, for example, and you, people just start wailing Cloud's shield, but why? Well, you're going to get limit Clem Hazard, like, it's not going to, you know what I mean? Yeah, you're just going to get that upbeat. Like. It's, the, it's the only way to die in that scenario is to whack someone's shield, and, like, you'll just whack the shield because you're only thinking about your neutral win, you're not thinking about their neutral win. Yeah, it's kind of hard to uh, think about. Uh, well, not hard, but it. In the moment, sometimes you don't think about the. Dude, I can't believe from. these two are playing a game. When I told them try and keep top two seeds playing each other, fuck, fucking stream, and they're playing. I see them. Jura and fucking Matt. Mm. Botville. Are they top two seeds? Yes. Okay. I thought Scobo was in uh, Matt's pool as well. No. That would be very cruel. Oh. That would be a very cruel existence. <laughs> Actually, funny thing about that Sonic. Uh, he was just fucking me up in, like, friendlies when I first got, uh, you know, the latency. Yeah. Uh, and uh, basically we played, like, ten games straight. I'm like, fuck, this is a terrible matchup. Byleth, Sonic, never doing this again. Yep. And I decided to switch to Corrin, and okay. I, like, three stars. <laughs> I mean, that also doesn't sound terrible. But, I don't know, the Corrin just seems to have a bit more options to deal with the Sonic rather than Byleth, who's just, like, trying. But I find, like, a lot of my stuff just never hits Sonic. With, like, Corrin, you've got the frame traps and everything. Yeah, fair enough. Force damage. Yeah. Byleth's very... I mean, the, every character has combos, right? But very sort of... It's, take your wins. It's always 50-50 on if you hit it or not. Because it depends on the opponent's DI as well. Oh, I think Matt's actually saved him here. Alright, just an update, guys. Jura's winning currently. 